Now we're in the middle of the very fun activity of moving these fish. So they have come from another location and we are about to start um, commissioning the filters and um, getting it all going. So these fish have had to travel. Now when anything happens to fish that are a little bit stressful and they also manage to be without power for a little bit. So any of these activities that can occur um, which may be stressful for the fish, then what happens is the molecular energy within the fish will be rerouted. And what I mean by that is that a healthy, strong, happy fish dedicates a lot of energy to its immune system. But when a fish is stressed, its immune system is stopped. And the reason why its immune system is stopped is because when a fish is stressed, all of their energy goes into their fight or flight system, their respiration system, and other systems that would help them to stay alive and be alert and move super fast if they're gonna get eaten by a shark, which would be very good considering these are cichlids. And um, then once a fish has had a s stressful circumstance, it takes about three weeks for the energy to properly redirect back into all the systems evenly again. So after a stressful situation, fish can actually just die. And they can die due to organ failure because maybe the energy isn't going to various organs. Maybe all the energy is going to the heart. Maybe all the energy is going to the lungs because there can be uneven distribute, um, distributing of the energy. Then, um, the immune system, once again, is collapsed. The body slime will often not be produced, so therefore the fish are very susceptible to pathogens. Now, this batch of fish may have lived happily together for years and years, but when something stressful occurs, whether it be the pumps are off for a while, maybe the um, temperature's gone down, or maybe you've moved the fish like this, or maybe all of those things. Then the immune system gets suppressed because the fish are stressed. Then the pathogens, which are inevitably in the fish, will have a good time because the antibodies that should be controlling the pathogens, allowing a healthy exchange um, within the environment, um, all of a sudden, these antibodies are not being produced. So the pathogens have a party. So these pathogens are all, all of a sudden not being checked. The security has left the building. Then the pathogens go off, and they reduplicate, and then they come back looking for a new host. And then if the fish are stressed, they don't have good body slime, their immune system is suppressed, the antibodies are not being produced, then they can get white spot. So they say you can catch white spot, just like you can catch a cold. And it's because your immune system has been suppressed because um, your antibodies are not being produced. So whenever you do something that may be considered stressful to the fish, you need to keep an eye on your water quality and you need to medicate if needed. So the main thing that you're gonna see is fin clamping and flicking and scratching. If you see any of that business going on, it's best just to medicate them with a um, white spot cure. It is very quick, it is very cheap, and it is very effective. Um, if you have fish like clown loaches, it's advisable to underdose, but that's what you need to be watching for. And after three weeks, once they're established, once their immune system's back, then you're out of the woods. You don't do something major and then think you're out of the woods. You need to wait for the immune system to come back. Then you know you've done a good job.